Welcome back to the basement yard. What's up? Uh, I have a glass of water this week. Don't have a beer, so that's good. That's trying nice. to get my trying to get my life together. I you know what I mean? Well, I've been drinking a lot. This is what I'm trying to say. And about seven hours from now, you're probably going to be sending me drunk text. <sighs> yeah. No, I don't drunk text you. Yeah. I don't really drunk text. When you're drunk and texting, you're drunk texting. Regardless if you think you're, t you know. No. I'm not saying you're going to send me a picture of your fucking schnob. That's not, that's not, what, no, I'm not saying that either. All I'm right. saying like people who, when they drunk text, it's like, oh, dude, I love you, dude. And they can't spell anything correctly. Like yeah. I spell correctly when I'm drunk. Yeah. Because I, I backspace and like, yeah. you know, I make sure it looks. Did you know that on the space bar on the iPhone, you could hold it and go through like the letters? What? Like, um, oh, it, when you're texting to go backwards, yeah, to go backwards. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you could do that. I had no idea. I'm never gonna use that. I do use it all the time now. No, I don't. Have you been able to wash this thing off yet? I get, I still got some remnants of it. Oh, it won't leave us. I know because last week we, we got caught. oh, we were supposed to talk about yeah, it, yeah, but we got caught up with other things. You want to yeah. take this one? No, I could start it off if you want. Yeah, go for it. All right, um, so what Danny's referring to is we have these like stamps that we got on our hands, uh. Because we went to this place. Uh, I don't know whether to call it a bar, a club, or... Because yeah. it was neither of those things. It was it was an ambush is what it was. Absolutely. It well, was, obviously, honestly, it was it was, it was a, an ambush. It was. It was, a, it was a cerebral ambush. Yeah. Fucked our heads. We got our heads fucked. Yeah. So... I'm still not right. No one's right. No one's right from this. Keith was there, too. Yeah. And Keith had a rough night keith had a rough night we all had a kind of a confusing night <laughs> um so anyway <laughs> we went to the ranger game mm -hmm. right me you keith a couple other people whatever and then we went to dinner afterwards mm -hmm. at this nice restaurant we went to catch in the city uh and it was fun we had a good time had a couple of drinks you know danny had a bunch of seltzer oh yeah he doesn't drink anymore you know, diabetes. Diabetes. Uh, <laughs> diabetes. Type two. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of the people we were with, their girlfriend worked at this place. Are we going to say the name of the place? I don't, uh, maybe we shouldn't. All right. I don't want to ruin it for any of you. Know? Because you want to know why I don't? I, I want to go back. Yeah. Just to see if this is like a normal thing. I, I mean, I'm I, if uh, I don't. Okay. Anyway, so we went to this place, right? We don't know what well, we're just going to a place with yeah. a group. Oh, my girlfriend works here. We could get in. We don't have to wait on the line. Let's just go. All right, let's do it. We get in there. It looks like in Gangs of New York. Yeah. Where there's like seating. There's a bunch of shit going on. It, there's no dance floor. There's like couches everywhere like, and like antique couches yeah and like booths and like there's the smell of weed and cocaine and hookers in the air yeah. and whatever so just we bad get bad decisions yeah it smelled like a lot of sweat and just like child support envelopes that haven't been opened yeah a lot of subpoenas were flying around in there yeah a lot of orange envelopes <clears throat> it just I, you know what i mean so we we get upstairs to this like upper deck area and we're sitting on this couch and we're looking like out into this space yeah. where there's couches and then there's a stage. When we walked in, I don't know if you remember this, but when we walked in on the stage was a heavy set woman who was completely naked with paint near her vagijij. I do remember that. And she was dipping the paint, uh, her, the paintbrush into her vagijij. In her bagage. In her bagage, her luggage. Yeah. And then painting a painting. So I'm like, all right, we're in a Freemason meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? This is an Illuminati type place. Immediately right after that, I was like, I don't think we're getting out of here a lot. Yeah. I, was, I started to be like, mm, what did I sign up for? I started yeah. questioning the people I came with. I'm like, wait, hold on. You know, what's going on here? I was literally looking around to just like make sure I didn't lose... You or Keith. Right. And the reason why we started to think like, okay, what's going on here is because the person who brought us there is 
a celebrity sort of right and is not just like a run-of-the-mill person so we're like all right is this what's kind of going on you know what i mean so we're like a little we're like you know what's going on i also ripped like three shots of like double shots of belvedere which was disgusting by the way so i was i was lost i think you farted up there too oh i definitely farted in there (laughs) (laughs) and we're talking closed quarters fart fart post dinner fart yeah post dinner organic Organic. crispy chicken fart (laughs) (laughs) yeah so anyway so that happens right then the curtains close and we go that was weird right Great music in the place. Yeah, they did. They played great music. And there was like bubbles and shit, and like it was cool. And we were drinking, we were dancing, have a good time. And then the, the curtains open again. Yeah. And now it's like a knife throwing party. Yeah. Like this dude was throwing knives at like his assistant but or whatever. It was whatever. like very sexual. Yeah, I was they were, horny. Yeah, yeah. Like it made, it made me horny. I was horny too. Yeah. Yeah, we were really close to each other. Yeah, we were. Um, But she was like in bras and panties and she was leaned up against this like wooden thing like all like, sexually like, like just, just sexy just, just fucking throw those knives at me yeah and he did and he threw them fucking close almost took a nipple off it was right here and then he started backing up and throwing these like fucking big ass like axes from like the deep. Ta- from like the table standing, of a customer customers seating standing on a person's table where their food and like drinks are and throwing a fucking axe at this chick it yeah. was wild. Uh, that was wild. And then she was rotating. Oh. She was on plywood thing, rotating. So she was standing like this, rotating. No, no, no. She was standing still. And they had, like, wood. Circling. That was circling her. And then he was throwing it at the wood. If he missed or mistimed it, she was getting a knife right to the fucking face. Yeah. It was insane. So that happens. Also, at the end of it, it was weird. Show ends, and they're like... And then they start grabbing each other and making out. And he's grabbing her fucking ass like hard. Yeah, and then the curtains just close. Yeah, I'm like, are they? Wait, hold, open them up. Are they fucking? Like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Go get the the painter out here to keep paint it, this. Yeah, keep it going. So then you know we're back to being like, okay, we're having a good time again, All right? right? Dancing. So we're like, finally, we're back to normal here. Nope. <laughs> curtains open again. Now there's just a dude hanging upside down with a straight jacket on, and we're like, now me and Danny and Keith are looking at each other like. Where's the like? We need to go before we get yeah. trapped like this, poor man. I was afraid that if we were to try to exit, we were gonna get fucked. We were gonna get fucked or or killed. Yeah. So I, the safest thing for us was to stay put. Yeah. It I, was like kids that get lost in a cave. Safest thing is to stay put. Stay in there. Let Elon Musk figure this out. Yeah. That's what we were kind of hoping for. So, so the guy with the straitjacket starts, you know, whatever, and he gets out of it eventually, right? And he's still hanging upside down. And then this chick comes out and she hits a button and lowers him to the floor. When he gets to the floor, she strips naked and then gets on top of him and starts riding him. Yeah. And we're like, what was that? And like that all happened like really quick and they started closing the curtains again. Yeah. They just start after, after everything, somebody starts fucking. Yeah. We're like, what is going on here? Yeah. And then they just close the curtains. And I was like, did anyone else see the, yeah. the, the riding? No one saw the writing. Just DJ, made. take it away. <laughs> it was just crazy. And they're just like hotline bling. Yeah. I was and, like, wait, and, no, wait, wait, wait. Open that curtain. There were people having <laughs> sex back there. There was people fucking, and then the curtains were closed. They put on hotline bling, and then we'd be confused. Like, yo, that was like a little weird, but this song is fire. Are they fucking? <laughs> and then, and then my life was changed forever after that, because the final act of the night. I don't know if it was the night, but it was definitely our night. It was fun. It was it was the act of my life, changed me forever. Oh my god! And this is where shit gets real. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. And this whole time, you thought it was weird, but now it gets fucking weird. <laughs> okay, we go to this place and we're up there, and now we're like, okay, so this is like they do. It's obviously a place they do variety shows and stuff like this happens. I right? still I still can't believe I saw this. <laughs> A tranny? Yes. It was a tranny. A a trans... A trans. Trans man. Had fake tits. Circular. Like hard tits. Like he got like a boob job in the 80s. Yeah. Like very hard. Very old. I was... was, Very skinny and like loose skin. Maybe 60, 70. Yeah. I would say he was in his late 50s, early 60s. 
he was very skinny and very like loose like skin, gaunty and yeah. like loose. tits were stretched yeah, on their the, last the leg, max. just like yeah. Uh, so he's walking around and he's like antagonizing people and like the crowd or whatever. Then he gets on stage or she, I really don't want to fuck that up cause I'm really not sure, but you'll know why I'm saying what I'm saying. So she gets on stage <laughs> and starts doing this like faking yeah. as if she's masturbating like a girl. And we're like, Oh, okay. This is that show. Right. Mind you, it's 3 a.m. at this point. Yeah. I am a lot of vodka deep. I'm very a, tired. I'm sober as a fucking newborn child. Yeah. I I saw all of this with virgin sober eyes, by the way. <laughs> so then what happens next? At this point, I was kind of expecting this. Uh, strips naked, just like everyone else at this fucking place. Uh, that dick is out now. Okay. Guy had a guy had a dick on him. Guy had a fucking dick on him. Yeah, and it was one stretchy penis. Yeah, because he was jerking it. He was hard. He was jerking his penis. He had a hard penis. Yeah. He, well, it wasn't hard at first. Yeah, but he got it there. Yeah, he. I mean, he definitely worked and a for it. Fucking jiffy too. Yeah, <laughs> jiffy. He knew what he was doing. Got the magic touch. Uh, so this this um, transsexual uh, woman. Doing fake like cocaine up there doing, could have been real. I, I, I honestly, I think it was. Like, I think it because, was real because of that just, whole place. Yeah, it just you know it just felt like it was real. But anyway, so she's jerking her dick oh, on coke, <laughs> on coke, and then the unexpected happens, and we're like, where do we go from here? At this point, we're like, this is crazy. Like we're just looking around, like, yo, this is wild. Like this is a crazy night. Yeah. Then he takes the plate of said cocaine. And smashes it on his ass. Lifts his cock up and smacks it on his b-hole. Like this. Like, legs up. I'm not that flexible. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> like, legs are up like this, facing the crowd. Slaps it on his ass. And then a giant red dildo makes an appearance. Yeah. And he jammed that shit in his ass. A good death. over and over again i can't get down from this table but he started keith refused to look he, he was looking. a man was fucking his his own ass on stage oh, yeah. a, a transsexual woman was fucking, fucking her ass on stage their their own ass hit her own ass yeah and um fucking the shit out of her ass yeah uh, and there there had to have been some prep because it went in there pretty convincingly on the first try yes yes there had to be some uh some anal plug some, action some going on preparation. i started hysterically laughing yeah because i'm like this is i think we all started laughing well i think that's the point i yeah because i was like there's no way this guy's gonna f his own ass and he did. <laughs> and he did. Yeah. So immediately Keith just looks at me and just goes. <laughs> we both all start fucking dying laughing. Yeah. Then it gets really weird. Weirder than that. Mm -hmm. He takes out like fake blood mm -hmm. and starts rubbing it all over his ass and his cock <laughs> and her tits. Yeah. I called her her, him, and yeah, his. Yeah, we're flipping, I'm sorry. flopping. Really, we're not trying to be funny on that end. No, no, no. Like, we're uh, no. just generally, genuinely confused. Yeah. yeah. And the sh he basically, like, got up and, like, took a bow with, like, cocaine powder all over his butthole. Fake blood. Fake blood. And then, to top it all off, takes, like, paper towel and wraps it around his dick and then lights it on fire. And yeah. then the curtain's closed. Yeah. The guy lit his cock on fire. The guy... Fucked his ass and then lit his dick on fire. Not even 30 yards from me. And then I had to go outside into the real world and just be a person after that. I didn't sleep that night. I was so, I, I, I woke up the next day like, whoa, this, this is, this, that, that, that we. You want to know, you want to know a strange thing? I'd go back. I'm going back. It was the greatest night of my fucking life. Yeah. It was so good. I want to see if they could top the weirdness. Guys, all jokes aside, 
even though there hasn't been any fucking jokes. This has been, <laughs> this was exactly how the night went. Nothing has been embellished at all. No jokes. It was amazing. Yeah, I, I, had, I, was I had a lot of fun. Purely amazed. And I embraced the weirdness, and I think it was amazing. Yeah. And I would I go think, back, and I'd watch the same fucking show. The thing I think is, I think both of us went out of our comfort zone there. Well, <laughs> yeah. Just but, a bit. But a part of it was like, you know what? If I could go through that, I think I'm all right. Not it, you know what it was? It was just it was a combination of so many things. It was like, is this even fucking legal to that's, do? That's that's what I was thinking the whole time. And then they then like a part like when he was fucking his butt, her butt. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say, but but uh, the strobe lights hit. I and then I got like scared. <laughs> Something about the strobe lights made me like made me afraid. Because then I thought like everyone in the crowd was like in on it and was like gonna start doing it to themselves. Flash mob dildo ass. Yeah, fucking. Th- yeah. I thought it was gonna be like some eyes wide shut shit. Like everyone was gonna like start sucking each other's buttholes or something. Yeah. And then I was like, I was I was looking around. I was like, all right, Keith's right next to me. Thank God somebody I know was like didn't disappear. But I looked up, and you you were there, but like you were kind of off to like the, the left. Side, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh God, where'd he go? And then. The strobe light stopped, and I was like, all right, I'm safe. And that guy's flaming dick is gone. Yeah. I would still go back. Oh, I, I, I loved it. Yeah. I, I'm not even joking when I say that. I, I would easily go back. I thought it was an amazing place, and it was just... I don't even want to say the name of it. Yeah. If you've been there, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what we're talking about. Uh, but I don't want to say the name of it because I don't want you to be there if I'm there. No. No, like... I, like I don't want it to be filled to max capacity is what I'm trying to say. Right. You know what I mean? I'd rather less people know about it so there's a better chance of me getting in. For sure. You know, because it, it was that Pretty good. Pretty exclusive place. Very though. exclusive place, yes. Like, you can't just get in there. Yeah, it's very hard to get a, like a, or it's very expensive too. Yeah. But, my God, it was quite the night. I think we talked about that for two days straight. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even more. I Literally every 20 <clears throat> minutes, like, we would, like, after we left... We went out a little bit after that as well. And like every like 20 minutes, we'd be like, yo, someone fucked their ass on stage tonight. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we saw that happen, dude. And people cheered. Oh, yeah. People cheered. We were <laughs> dying laughing. I didn't know if it was. I, I, it was the only thing. My defense mechanism was just to laugh. You know what it was, too? When you, like you're saying like people cheered. Uh, I cheered. I cheered. Yeah. Give it up for him. That guy really, like, that thing immediately went up his butt, too. Yeah, that thing, he, I mean, his butt ate that thing. <laughs> Yo, it was it was, ama- it was amazing, guys. I promise you, none of this is made up. Like, this is... Not one sentence, word, syllable is nothing, fake. Nothing. I try, to ex- I try to say that to my friends, too, before I tell a story, and they're like, just tell a story already, because I keep going, I promise you, none of this is exaggerated, no. even 1%. Not at all. Not one bit. Not even the plate. Nope. It was a plate of conch. Hey, conch. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost choked there. Uh, but, yo, what a, what a fucking night. Remember, I was like, <clears throat> I purposefully left my dog at home for this. <laughs> <laughs> I went out of my way to see this. Oh, man. And I'd do it again. Can you imagine you paid to get in? I wonder how much that guy got paid to I, get in. I hope I hope, I hope he paid. That is his job though. All in all, like there were some very and there were like other acts like in, Yeah, there was like a good people, singer. People singing and like the host was like this inappropriate guy who who was dressing like John Lennon with his mustache or whatever. And then also he took off all John of Lennon, the, I mean Elton John. Elton John. He took off all his clothes and started humping people's faces in the front row. Yeah, a woman. Yeah. And then rubbed his dick all over that guy's face. Yep. What a night. Oh, and also, during the whole thing, when we first got there, our, our waitress, like, had our tits out. You remember that? Yeah. She's like, what are you guys drinking? And I was like, I, uh... Am I allowed to look at your titties? Belvedere? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, hon. People Appreciate were just, it. So, random people just had their tits out. 
And there were like some people, there was like this girl who was standing on top of this thing in the middle of the place. Just who was, doing this. Who was naked with her. T- yeah, just doing like spiritual rave dancing with her nips just out. like those two cokehead like girls. And that one girl was trying to make out with that other girl so, so hard. Yeah, yeah. And she would not do it. Yeah. I remember pointing at you. I was like, yeah, this one is tripping on either Molly <clears throat> or E because she's trying to eat this one's face. Yeah. She kept doing like the, <laughs> like the pat, like, yeah, all right. But yeah. like that crowd, you could guess everyone who was going to be in there. Yeah. We were the most straight and narrow people in there. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I'm that kind of, I don't know if I'm the same person after it. Oh no, I broke bad, baby. Yeah, like yeah. if I go back there, you'll see some. If shit. something doesn't go in a butthole, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah, I'd be like, this show sucks. Yeah, no one got fucked. Yeah, there's no f- bloody butts. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No one- <laughs> now you like I was taken like off guard. I was like, oh shit! Like I I, I had never been there. I never heard of it. So like I didn't know. What was well, I've been there once before, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't. No. So we caught the good one. Yeah. Like, it was, like, the girls dancing and stuff that I saw. Mm -hmm. All that other stuff, didn't see any of that. None none of that. I was taken off guard by all that. Yeah. Like, now I just feel like the next time I go, I'm letting that flag fly, baby. Oh, that bar is so high that you, like, the bar is set so high. Oh, oh. Not the actual bar. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, what? That bar is set so high. Yeah. Like, you're going to need to, like, I'm going to have to, like, see two little people have sex. Yeah, I'm going to need to see some stuff. Like, for me to even, like, flinch. Yeah, like, you're going to you're gonna need to bring a giraffe on stage and let it give birth. Yeah. Then I'd be like, all right, this is a fun night. Yeah, and then, like, a dude, like, tries to have sex with it. Yeah. Like, that, like it has to be that outrageous. Right. There's Yeah. A, yeah. Or, like, a grown bait, like, a grown man baby. Shitting. It, shitting. Yeah. Like, something like that. Right. Like tonight, I'm going out to a bunch of different bars. I I don't know if it's even possible for me to have fun. Again. No, I can't have fun again because you're in shock. Yeah, like you're like you're shot. Like uh, you you've hit that limit where you're like at a point where you could not be shocked until you meet something that meets that caliber. Yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, I've never done heroin, but I assume like the first time you do heroin, it's like, whoa, that was so good. And then you spend the rest of your life chasing that feeling. Imagine being fucking high on something and oh, going in no, there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a bad trip. Yeah, that's not great. No. Dude, I don't know if I'll ever be able to have fun again. Yeah. That place changed me. Yeah, I did. For the better. I feel great. I think. I t- I'm not sure, but I told my friends, I was like, I feel like I just jam-packed 10 years of experience into four hours. Yeah. And you want to know what's funny? All that stuff, you could probably see on the one train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They just took the New York City All-Stars from the subway and just let them go on stage and do their thing. That would be amazing. It would. Talent show. A talent show for the for the people on this train? Yeah. For like people on the train. Just let them just have like a talent show night. Like an open mic. Open mic. Oh man, that would be fire. Hysterical. Oh my god. Let's go tonight. Oh man. I think I love her. I think I love her. <laughs> I just you know And then there were people singing naked. Like singing naked is like weird. It's almost weirder than the guy shoving that thing up his butt. Cause like, am uh, I I'm not in agreement like, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in agreement. That was a pretty weird show. Like, you're a good singer, but you're naked. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's a party. Let them hang. Yeah. Dump them out. Oh, my God. Joe, where can they find you? Uh, man, <laughs> they can find me back at that place. <laughs> just just trying to, like... Just I, keep it together. Yeah, you know? I You know what? But now, I, I feel a sense of comfort in a way, because I know now if this weren't to work out and you know no one would want to listen to the podcast or watch my videos or or do whatever or follow me anywhere right i know that i could go there and i i would have to you know just become the manager there or something like that. i can have a prospering career on stage there yeah 
I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not talent material as far as that goes. I could host maybe there. Oh, I could host. I could host. I could host and definitely introduce some acts. Yeah. But, um, I, I would want to, you have to, you would have to like really get heavy in the drugs though. There's no way that host <clears throat> wasn't on drugs. He's going to have to do some, he'd bang some rails. Yeah. Do some sniff sniff. Yeah. Yeah. Or just LSD or whatever. Yeah. What do you got planned for the rest of the night? Uh, <coughs> Jesus, I wish I knew. By yeah. the way, everyone always freaks out about this thing. They're motion sensor lights. Like everyone's yeah, like, yo, your place is haunted. I'm like, yeah. it's not. They're See, just, I just set it off. They're motion sensor lights. So that's why they were going off in the other episode. Yeah. Or whatever. So Save me. Save us. Even though <laughs> it knows, it knows. Don't do that. I know that's that's, that's scary, isn't yeah, it? Don't say that. I always think about that. Are you ever I, try I, to I, you scare yourself at night? Yeah, of when course. You're laying in bed and you're like, or you know what I used to do? Oh, why am I saying this? You remember my old apartment? Yeah. If you sat on the couch, and you were facing the kitchen, mm-hmm. there's the stairs. Yes. And you know how there was just like. Uh, beams or whatever so you could kind of see through. Yeah, you could see through. I don't know why I would do this, but I would scare myself and be like, imagine if a little girl just like put her hands on him or looking through the things at me. No thanks. I just got chills. Look at my arms. Yeah. Would you try to kill it? Oh, no. You'd run away. I'd be out the window. If it was a kid? No. I think I try to kill it. If it was a per- if it was a, if it was a grown woman, I'd be more inclined to fight. Really? Yeah. I think if it's a kid, I I I, I try to I try to like hit it with a no broom no, no no or strike it or Yo, str- look- I strike it or some like throw something at it. Little because I want to see what kind of ghost I'm dealing with. Is it translucent ghost? Is it a a full like bodied ghost? You know, if it goes right through you, I'm all right. I'm not all right. Get out of me. Yeah. I don't want that shit. Yeah, uh, little demon girls are on my, or oh, my, I know my top two. I really don't like it. Yeah, it's terrifying, dude. You don't watch scary movies alone, do you? No, no, I can't. I can't deal with the. I do a lot uh, up here. You know what I mean? I just told you I pictured a little girl in my apartment like a demon child. Yeah, I can't. I can't have that. It's a little weird, but it's normal. It's normal. Do you believe in ghosts? Don't ask me that. You do. I. Uh, you know what it is. I think I have asked you this, and then you gave me the same nonchalant answer because you don't want to offend the ghost, the ghost people. I don't want to say no. I don't believe in them, and then have them come and fuck with me tonight because. Yeah. But I it, slept fine out here. Oh, we had a sleepover last night, by the way. Yeah, we we had a sleepover. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. This place, I don't get any weird vibes at all. My first place, I got weird vibes. Yeah. Like my the place that we were just at. That place I had some weird vibes on some days where yeah. I feel like, yo, kind of whatever. This, I feel good. How long you been living here? A month. A month. When's like the right day for you to jerk off in a new apartment? I don't know. Like immediately? Right? I would say like day after you're moved in, I'm breaking in the place. Yeah. I'm bashing this thing. What do you think? I'm waiting it out? Yeah. Well, honestly, like you didn't have blinds for like... A good amount of time. I also don't jerk off standing in the middle of my living room. <sighs> You're not living. Do you you jerk off standing up? I live in a studio, so I, I technically I, I do jerk off in my living room. That's true. No, but you jerk off standing up. And it's a very nice studio, so I don't want to hear shit. No one, no one, no one jerks off standing up, do they? No, I haven't jerked off standing up since maybe seventh grade in the shower. That's when you jerk off standing up. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I did that. No, no way. I'm way too old to jerk off in the shower. I need to sit. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Well, my back? I can't I can't stand up and jerk off. I gotta lay down. Yeah. How long did it take you for here? For what? <laughs> what? How long did it take day one? You jade it in here? I don't know. I don't remember. He fucking remembers. Everyone remembers their first. Well, I know. You only you would like keep track of that. Like, yo, how many days until you do this? Like, I wasn't thinking about it. Of like, oh, I gotta oh, wait. For, just for your information, I have warm up I to it. I haven't masturbated since we did that thing like three shows ago. <laughs> I believe that you're fucking. You're See, that's why I knew we couldn't put anything on it because you wouldn't believe me. I've I, masturbated. I don't believe that dick activity. I know you're throwing that thing to hell. There you are. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. If there was like something on the line, I could do it. But 
there's nothing on the line. Nothing gets between me and this dick. What? How much money would have to be on the line? For a month? Yeah. Four hundred bucks. All right. A hundred dollars a week. <laughs> oh fuck! There's no way to to figure that out, though. I mean, I, it would have to be on honor system. I wouldn't lie about that. I disagree. I just told you that I did, and there was nothing on the line. You literally just lied. You said I haven't jerked off since that conversation, and then you just told me, oh, "Yeah, I was lying." It's a set up a joke a little. Oh bit. yeah, you really set it up, there, Dan. I'll set something up. Oh, you want to set it up? Yeah, just don't forget I slept on your couch last night. Come over here and set this up. Oh, you, you jerked off on my couch? No, I said it's a brand new twenty two hundred dollar couch. Twenty two hundred dollars. It felt good. Honestly, that couch very comfortable. It is could easily jerk off on it. Yeah. But I didn't. I don't think I've jerked off. Yet. And the only reason I didn't is because if you open your bedroom door, you could see me. That was the reason why you didn't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what would you do if you caught me jerking off in your Ain't house? Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, I'd go, yo, we got to talk about this on the show. <laughs> That would be so funny though. Like, Imagine. Like, 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 would you ju- like, would you like, would you fire me if I jerked off on your couch? Dude, what? No. I wouldn't either. I know who you are. If you were a random dude who I hired and it was just like, dude, what the fuck? Get out of here. I've caught friends jerking off. I've never caught anyone. No, I caught my friend beating his meat at his kitchen table once. Kitchen table? Yeah. Jesus Christ. You eat there. Yeah. And I was, I was like living there at the time. You can't jerk where you eat. Yeah. And I came up, and he was just sitting in a chair, just beating it. And he did like the, like the shuffle, like the hide shuffle. Wait, he kept going? No, no. But he was like trying to put his dick away, the laptop away. Oh, he had a laptop. And then it just came to the point where he had to just concede. It just be like, oh, I was jerking off, dude. <laughs> What'd you say? It's all good. Oh, I thought you went. Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Like if I walk in on somebody jerking off, oh my bad. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It, it sucks, though, to, yeah. to catch you in the act. Yeah. Jerked off on the couch. Dude, you can't beat at the dinner table. No. I, I also work. If I didn't work here. I can't wor- beat if off, I like, work in a here. chair. In a chair? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, actually, I could. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't work here, I'd think about masturbating here, but I can't. It's, it's not comfortable for me. Okay. I'm glad. Yeah. You're safe. Thank God. Sheets are safe. Ugg blanket, which is very comfortable. Very comfortable, that shit. Very, very soft very on the skin. Very soft. Very chaseable. Now, if there was a Tigger stuffed animal in here, <laughs> yeah, that'd, be, that'd be a different story, <laughs> yeah, okay? I'd be banging the shit out of that thing <laughs> at this point. Oh, God. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, I think we could wrap this up a bit. I would think so. Yeah, please wrap it up. But don't wrap it up in paper towel and then light it on fire like yes. someone else we know, okay? Yeah. Um, and take your guesses in the comments as to what place you think we went to. Oh, Jesus Christ. This needs to get off of me. I've been trying to get it off for th- th- three days now. I don't want to be reminded. I know. It's just... I know. Is that Transformer on your hat? It's Black Panther. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, it's, this is kind of actually funny. Um, so I've been doing trivia a lot. Last week I did Tuesday and Wednesday. This week, yesterday was Tuesday, so we did it again. Haven't won yet, but on Wednesday of last week, we lost in uh, sudden death, and it was all my fault because we were supposed to win. And the one question that I decided to change, we had the answer, and I changed it. It was, what was the highest uh, domestic movie, like uh, the highest grossing domestic movie in 2018? Infinity War. That's what I said, but it's Black Panther, and I was wearing this hat. Wait, no way. Yeah, because... Infinity War made more money worldwide. Oh, it was but domestically, US. domestically, Fuck. Black Panther made more money. So we had Black Panther down. Yeah, and I was wearing this fucking hat, Damn. and I changed it on the card, and to I put Infinity, Infinity War. War. I'm like, yo, it's Infinity War. It has to be, because I know they had like the highest gate like ever. Yeah, it was amazing. Fuck. And uh, we ended up lo- we ended up tying, and it was my fault that we tied because yeah. that would have put us over the edge. We would have won. So I was just like furious, but I fucking I'm a, I'm a fiend for trivia now. Uh, I pride myself on being, like, being good, good at trivia, trivia. and yeah. like I know general knowledge or whatever. So I just like looked up and I was like, yo, let me do this on the show and see how well 
see if you know any of this stuff. Okay. They're not questions though. They're That's just fine. kind of facts okay. that I didn't know, but I but I have some. And you want me to answer them? No, I'm not gonna. There's not. They're not in the form of a question. Like I just want to like tell you things. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna educate. We're just gonna educate. I think I think this. Is, sometimes we have to do that on the show. But, so, but these I don't like. I don't know how true these are because I did find them on the internet. So okay. First one is you can't smell while you're sleeping. Uh, I believe that because you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, but you've never like woken up like bacon or like pancakes. Like yeah, someone's you, cooking. Yeah, but you're awake. Your mind's awake. But because of the scent. No, a scent cannot wake you. No. No. Wait, don't people say like this? Yeah, you know, because if that was true, like people die in like fires all the time because they were asleep. And by the time they wake up, they're not dead. They're not dead, but they wake up and it's like already t- like too late. That was dark as fuck. Yeah, that was. Sorry. Wait, that actually I've been is, watching too much This Is Us. That that actually is a good uh-huh. point. Yeah. But, what, but I think people die in fires because of the... Uh, well, it's, it's smoke, too it, late. It's smoke inhalation, but it's too late because like... Obviously, the fire isn't happening in their room. Yeah. You know, it's not like... But that could be smoke inhalation though. Right. That wakes them up. That could wake you up. Mm-hmm. That 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 I believe. I feel like I've gotten woken up to like the smell of pancakes though. You've woken to the smell of ba- bacon. You haven't been woken by the smell of bacon. Facts, mm. straight facts, homie. That was good. Yeah, I like that. Um, do you know what young rabbits are called? Um, jacks. <laughs> Kittens. Really? The fuck? Are they in the same uh, like genome as they? Ha- I know they have the same ba- genome. What was that? Like uh, the genre? S- no, no, no. The so I, uh, genome means like the scientific family of like cats, like how cats are like f- rat- uh, felinia or whatever it is. Uh, like felines? Yeah, like like their 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 genomes. I mean, I don't fucking ki- know. If they're kittens, they're kittens. It's weird. They're not like bunnies. Yeah. Like they're fucking kittens, and it's a rabbit. What the fuck is this? I had no idea. Why is there two kittens? Because I, I'm, I'm going to look up rabbit, and then I'm going to see if they're in the same thing. But keep going. What's your favorite animal, by the way? Uh, an elephant. Why? Because they're very smart, and one-on-one, you cannot fuck with an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and they can paint. Yeah, they can paint, and they fucking throw down. They got fucking long-ass noses. I don't know why you're looking it up. Who gives a fuck? No, no, no. I just wanted to see... Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd be, uh, my favorite animal is an elephant or yeah, I'm just going to stick with elephant. I just think elephants are fucking dope. I don't know, bro. I fucking, uh, this shit makes no sense to me. My, my what's, favorite, your fa- what's your favorite animal? I, I, it's like a monkey or no, actually it's a real answer is a dog. Then it's a monkey. Which, which monkey though? Like just all monkeys? What? Which monkey? A orangutan, I don't know, like a, like a, a ape. No, 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 not like a go- no, like a, a gorilla. Those little, are monkeys. The little ones that do tricks and like they hug you and they steal people's money. Can, or like whatever. smoke cigarettes and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Those Fuck, are cool. Didn't Justin Bieber get a monkey and then he just left it? Yeah, he had to give it up. He like gave no, it I think away. he just oh, did he? I yeah. thought he just like left it in Russia. No, no, yeah, or he, Germany. He gave it to somebody that could take care of it. Oh, because I, th- I know he did buy a monkey and then he was just like, no, I yeah. can't, I can't have this. Over under two years that marriage lasts. Him and uh, Haley Baldwin. Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, gonna say I'm gonna say under. Under two years. Yeah. I don't know. Who the fuck knows, man? They're so famous. I feel like it, I don't know. Like they can only go places that they each other are. Yeah, that's true. Yo, I wonder what kind of crazy wild fuck parties they go. Oh to. yeah. <laughs> Fire has no shadow. Like if you hold. A lighter up and shine a light on it against the wall. No shadow. Yeah, that's true. Why are you looking around? No, because I'm thinking if I if I lit it in my hand, because it's, it's, it's light. Never, yeah. It's, it, if anything, it would cast a shadow of you because it's light. Right. That's why. Yeah. Bomb. Boom. You're so fucking smart. Myth busted. Myth busted. Barbie has a last name. I never knew that. Yeah, me neither. I just found what, out. Her what? name is Barbara, by the way. Yeah, that I knew. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I knew that. I thought her name was Barbie. No, no, no. I knew it was Barbara. Why would you? 
I had two sisters, man. They all had those fucking things. Running yeah, but around. no, it was like, oh, can I get my Barbara doll? No, 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 no. But on the back of some packages, it would say like her name. It would say her full name. Yeah, her name sucks. I don't remember it. It's so bad. It's Barbara Millicent Roberts. Yeah, no wonder she's rich. She sounds like a rich white bitch <laughs> with racist parents. Barbara Millicent Roberts. I wonder what Ken's real name was. It, it says it actually says no word on Ken. Oh. Yeah, so. He was just a dumb dick. Yeah, he's a dumb fucking blonde bitch. Did you always check to see if he had a penis? I checked if they all had dicks. I did too. And pusses. I did too. Dude, I used to check dogs. Barbie had titties. She had hammers on her. Yeah. No nips though. No nips. Which would have been fun to give her nips. I think I drew a pair of nips on one. You drew a pair of nips on your sister's... Uh... Make it real. Do you ever like rub them like... Oh, fuck, I'm rubbing tits. Probably. I want to say yes, but nothing like jumps out to me that like I went out of my way to do that. Did I ever tell you the Tigger story? No. No, I, I did, didn't I? No. I, you did, I never told the story on the show? Not, that, not in a while I've been oh here. Oh, my God, dude. Listen to this. When I was young, I I, I think I've I've told the story. To be, I think I had. All right. Well, it, it's good for the new the, the new crowd. All right. I, I fingered Tigger. You, you never heard me say that. No. What he had like a slit like down by his thing. <laughs> I can't believe I never told you this. It was a big stuffed animal of Tigger. Like how big are we talking? Tigger? It was uh, like I mean. It was bigger than you at the time. I mean, it was probably the same size. It was you know it was big. I was small. Right. It was big. Okay. So right now it would probably be you know one of these. This is a this is like that's big old a tick. top shelf carnival sized yeah. tigger. Thirty nine ninety nine at Walgreens. Probably. Yeah. So you know it had a hole where this tiger cock would be, right? So and the stuffing was coming out. Okay. Because there was stuffing to keep it stuffed and keep its shape. Okay. That's why they have stuffing. Yeah. And I took the, I took the, uh, st- I took the stuffing. The fucking phone's ringing. I took the stuffing, and I just kind of put it back in. Okay. And I was, and then I was just like, eh, that's kind of. And I kept going. How long did you do it for? Not long, and I didn't know what I was doing. But you were just. But looking back on it, Tigger got fingered. Yeah. And it was by me. That's I fingered that thing. You probably never looked at that thing again after that. Nah. Then I put my dick in it. No. I- <laughs> Your face is like, yeah. We're uh, gonna have to call a therapist here. I know. No, I, I, nah, I, I was fingering the stuffed animal though for sure. Did you hump anything when you were a kid? Probably. I think that's like what kids do. I've said this before, and you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't remember like just like, <laughs> like pressure, like when you had a boner. Yes. Yeah, so like f- it's fighting your jeans, and it's just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you just like it just that kind of like the pressure felt all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. No, I didn't even need... Do you remember the first time you remembered, you, you figured out like, whoa, this is good. Yeah. Because yeah. you didn't know what to do with it otherwise. You were kind of just like pushing on it and like mashing it around. Or, when, did you think, when did you think you started yakking? I think I was in like seventh or... Yeah, like seventh grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. When I started yanking? I don't... Sixth grade. Seventh grade, maybe. No, nah, you were earlier than that, dude. Probably. Seventh grade, you're... you're well into your beating days. Yeah, probably more like fifth grade. Yeah, fifth Prob- grade. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I, I remember. What's I, normal jacking age? I don't know. When do you start jerking off? I don't know. I'm a Google. You it. probably started early. Yeah, probably. Dude, you love googling during the show. You no, 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 Beca- it. no. Because it, it, it is. What's the average starting age for masturbating? <laughs> And there's going to be a study on this. Who who are they asking? You can't ask like a kid in fourth grade, hey, this, you jerking off yet? No, this is from the University of Michigan. Right. But what the fuck does anyone know? Like, I don't remember what age I was. Yeah, probably. Probably fifth grade. Couldn't find it. Don't want to waste know. anyone's time on here. But yeah, anyway. So I, I fingered a stuffed animal. I didn't know what I was doing. You knew what you were doing. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. Now you do. Now, yeah, in hindsight, I'm like, oh my god, I was fingering the shit out of that thing. Nothing like wrong. I did it, and and the stuffing was already in too. It wasn't like I was trying to do a good job because it was not. It was not about the stuffing anymore. It was just me, kind of like, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, stuffing feels good. I'd go back and I'd do it. Fuck yeah, whatever. I don't regret shit. Nah. Um, 
10% of all photos taken in the world have taken... 10% of all photos in the world have been taken in the past 12 months. Bunch of conceited, yes. vain, selfie-taken fucks. Yeah, just with... Are uh, phones counted as photos? Absolutely. So then, yes. Uh, that's very believable then. It's crazy that it's only 12 months and 10% of all photos in the world? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Well, you got to think about it. How many people are in the world? I want to say like I want to say six billion. Yeah, no. Well, China has a billion people. Yeah, they, I want. I want to say like eight billion people. World's population. I love how he's googling now. Seven point two. Seven point two. So we split. Seven point two billion. Seven point two billion. How many of them do you think have a cell phone? Let's say five. Five billion. So let's say five billion. Let's even go lower. Let's say four billion have it. Yeah. One picture a day is four billion pictures. Yeah. So that that's that makes sense. Yeah, I guess so. Damn, dude, I'm killing it. Yeah. <laughs> There's an Austrian village. I'm not killing anything. No, you're way. not killing it. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> I'm giving you answers and then you're like, just, yeah, that just makes sense. Giving, giving like mathematical reasons for why they're real though. Yeah. Uh there's an Austrian village. Okay. It's called Fucking. That's like, the name of it. That's that, that I could believe. Fucking. That's awesome. But like, does it mean fucking? Or is it like fucking? No, I don't know. But it's fucking. Uh, you know, like Austrian. It could be fucking. Is that how Austrians sound like? You sound like Ar- Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he's Austrian. Is he? Yeah. Oh, that's news to me. You didn't know? No, I didn't know. What did you know. think he was? I don't know. I just, I just, you know, from the future or something. <laughs> I didn't know where the fuck he was from. That Arnold wasn't bad. Do it again? I can't now. Oh, you lost it? Yeah. I apologize. Damn it. We'll watch it back. Yeah, a yeah, times. yeah, yeah. We'll Maybe, review it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> review it. Um, this one's weird. Okay. And we're going to have to try and work on figuring this out. I like weird. The chances of dying on your birthday are 14% higher than any other day. 14's a ton. Why is it 14% higher on your birthday? Candles, fire, eating food, cake, you could choke to death, maybe going out and drinking. But I feel like these are things that people do every day. I'm silent because I'm actually really trying to figure this out. It makes no sense. 14%? Um, do you become a target for assassinations that day? You know what always weirds me out, too, is like people who die like a day after their like spouse dies. Yeah, like you could die from heartbreak. Isn't that so sad? But like beautiful at the same time. It's beautiful. It's like, yeah, I lost the love of my life. I just don't want to live anymore. And they die. Yeah. Well, yeah. They're older. I think it's a lot of like stress. It's like, you know what I mean? It's not. There has to be a physiological reason. Physiological? (laughs) Physiological. Physiological is the right way. Oh, man. (laughs) Ever since we did that episode on pronouncing words, I've been so afraid to pronounce words on here. (laughs) I knew you didn't. You were like, you were looking at me like, right? Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Give me a nod. Give me a nod. But what is the reason? Is it the candles? Maybe it is the stress. Oh, I was talking about the birthday. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe it's the stress that from your birthday. Yeah, maybe people have like stress in their older age, like they reach 90. Like I feel like a lot of people die at 90 or 80 or 70, and odds are it's probably on their birthday. That's not true. <laughs> probably not. That's probably a lower percentage. I just don't know why it would be hot, 14% higher. Like, my birthday's in February. You get a 14% increase on my fucking birthday? I'm staying inside now. You have a biological clock, man. Probably just matches up. I don't know. It just takes your life from you. I hope not. Dying on your birthday is not the worst day to die. What's the worst way? The worst day to die is probably Christmas. Yeah. Because not only did you not... You ruin it for everyone else. That's what I'm saying. You ruin Christmas and you don't get to experience the whole Christmas. Yeah. You die on it. You die on Christmas and then your family has to cancel Christmas because you died. Double whammy. Double whammy. That's not a good day for anybody. No. That's like anyone who was born on Christmas. It's like you ruin your parents' day. Can I ask you this? 10-year-old Joe's walking around, right? Someone dies. Let's say, like, how old are you when your how old are you when your grandpa passed? Didn't one of them pass when you were young? All my grandparents are now deceased. Okay, morbid. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, go ahead. So, like, when was the youngest you could remember one of them passing away? Uh, my 
my aunt passed away in 2005. 2005. So I was fifth. How old was I in 2005? How many years ago was that? 13? So I was 13. You were 13. All right. If she were to pass away on Christmas, would have... <laughs> Are you going to ask me if a part of me would go, come on. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're 13, you're still deep in the gift game. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wish I, I could I be. Also, I also don't know how close you were to your aunt, so if, if any disrespect yeah. was there, I apologize. By the way, aunt or aunt? Aunt. You just said aunt. Yeah, but uh, did I? Yeah. I thought maybe because you said aunt. I said aunt. All right. I, I usually say aunt. You aunt? Not really. Who's who aunts? My aunt, my aunt. Yeah, I say aunt. Yeah, me too. That's weird. That I said aunt. Yeah, that's weird. I, I was trying to be you, formal. I guess so. But um, I wish I could be funny and be like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, yo, God, give me a break with this dying thing today. I know. I'm just trying to open gifts. That's all you want. Yeah. Just celebrate the cheer. Is it post gifts? Cause then like whatever. Yeah. Oh, if it's post gifts, I don't care about the rest of the day. No. When you're no. young, you care about the, the gifts. No, this is like first thing in the morning, you wake up to it. Oh, she dies at like 5 a.m. And then I find out like, can we open gifts? And my parents are crying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I'll tell you what. It would be horrible. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't not open my gifts, though. I know. I don't open the them. thought is going to pass much, you around. How yeah, much you're time? Not, you're, not ba- you're not a bad kid if that <laughs> thought passes your mind on Christmas. What is the appropriate amount of time to pass before you, like, look at your parents like, it's cool if I, like, open this? I think, like, when you get home that night, that's probably, like, when you would do it. <laughs> This is such a ridiculous <laughs> conversation, and I love it. But it's true, though. It's true that if it were to happen, you are a 13-year-old kid. A part of you is going to think for a second. Damn, that says my name on it. It's right there under the tree. It's big. You know? It's in the shape of a bike. You know? And now supposed if, to get a mongoose. Yeah, and if you're really close to this person, then obviously that's going to take over <laughs> than any other gift. But it will cross your mind. That is funny, man. It's human nature. It's, human, na- really it's human nature. <clears throat> human Christian nature. Human Christian nature. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, over speaking of dying, over seven thousand U.S. citizens die, and one point five million impair their health due to ineligible doctors' writing. Illegible, you mean? Illegible. Ill- illegible. Oh, okay. Like you can't read it. Yeah. Like, it's, like, fucked up. Like, your handwriting is so bad that you kill 7,000 people a yeah, year. But Was that a year? I'm trying to understand it, though, like, to the point, like, what are they writing? Prescriptions or just, like, on the charts where you write stuff, like, oh, oh they had high blood pr- pressure or they had this, they had that. If, if it's ineligible and someone's like, oh. You keep saying ineligible. I keep ineligible. saying ineligible. <laughs> ineligible. Eligible. <laughs> Eligible. Wait, why am I saying <laughs> That's how, you, saying, that's, that's how you know you watch sports way too much. Ineligible like, receiver downfield. Yeah, isn't there, there's like words that go with sports. <clears throat> God, it sounded like a coach right there. Yeah. Uh, words that go with sports like um, ineligible sports, I think, immediately. Yeah, of course. Um, he has the uh, tangibles. Tangibles is sports. Is a big sports word. Yeah. Um, what's another one? You have like eight different voices right now. I know, I know. I'm still getting over this cold. Uh, Yo, <coughs> I, I said ineligible that entire time, didn't I? Yeah. I, 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 not I, once. I corrected you once, and then you <laughs> no. acted like you said it right. <laughs> You're like, correct, eligible, yes. At no point did I say eligible. No, you said ineligible twice. In- <laughs> and, uh, so it's uh, the sports words. Uh, tenacious is a sports word. Not really. Yeah, like tenacious defense, tenacious defender. Um, tangibles, we, we agreed on. Um, the other one is catalyst. Like I think of science. Nah, I think of sports. Or I think of uh, Newfound Glory. Catalyst, you insist to pull me down. God, that is such an old song. Yeah. So- do you you contradict any- the fact you're... Do you have any other sports words? I don't fucking know, dude. Can control. we talk about the people that are dying and fuck your sports words? Yeah, but the thing is, is like, I don't believe that one. Why? 
Because seven thousand people. That's not a lot, dude. That's seven thousand people who die because you have fucking shitty handwriting. Yeah, that's true. You're a doctor for get it is together. That, is that malpractice? Should be. I would sue the fuck out of that doctor. I mean, you have to. And 1.5 million impair their health. You could be impaired right now because someone can't write. Well, I'm not impaired. No, you're impaired. Yeah, I actually am impaired. <laughs> <laughs> In the best way possible. Oh, yeah. Um, every 10th European child has been conceived. What? <laughs> Just that first sentence is ridiculous. It every, can go so far. Every 10th European child has been conceived in an Ikea bed. Aren't they the, the worldwide leader in, like, furniture? I don't fucking know. They, they, Yo, they gotta be. First of all, Ikea, what a genius fucking thing. Also, the way they build their stores... That's what I mean. ...are phenomenal. It's a mouse trap. Yeah. It's a maze. And That's you have to see every item they have to offer. And you ever notice the thing that you want is never the first thing there? It Not even close. Not even close. They put bullshit like, oh, do you want uh, fucking, what, what are those called? Ex- ex- extension cords? We got them all on the front. Two for three dollars? Getting it. Yeah, I always get extension cords whenever extension I Extension cords I always buy and those water jugs. Yeah. Those like 30 gallon, no, 30 gallon, 30, get, 30 like, ounce uh, g- uh, glass ones. Like a fuzzy... Uh, Pillow too. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All the lamps, all the actual furniture, everything is at the end of the store. Yeah. You and anything that you really want is all the way at the end. Even and there's you, a reason for that. Even if you walk in and you're like, oh, I want that thing. You have to walk through the entire store to get to the fucking thing to get the thing. Remember when I lost my phone in Ikea? Yeah. God, that was terrible. <laughs> you, what'd she say to you? <laughs> that black lady was like, oh, you was laying down. Yeah. <laughs> Like, she knew you were a fucking idiot. Like, this kid lost his phone at Ikea because he went and he laid down as a joke on, like, a kid's bed. And then, like, 10 minutes later, we're walking through the store. He's like, yo, I don't know where my phone is. So he goes back to go find it. And he's like, yo, I can't find my phone, whatever. And he's, like, asking people. He's like, yeah, you know, I was laying down on this bed. And she just looks at him. She goes, oh, you was laying down. (laughs) I love it. Oh, I forgot about that. So, uh, that that fucking sucked, man. Yeah, you were mad scared. Because I just switched over to Wing. Yeah. And if I lost that phone, I would have had to keep paying it off. Yeah. That would have sucked a, a sh- <laughs> Yo. God. Oh, you was laying down. Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you was laying down? That was basically <laughs> your fucking idiot. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you think you're fucking funny? And then she got on the then she got on the phone. She got on the phone and I came and was like uh, yeah, uh, I got a customer here. Says he was laying down on one of the kids' beds. <laughs> that's great. 29 year old man just standing there, just like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> oh, man. Ikea crushes, though. Yo, Ikea is awesome, very affordable. As soon as it gets into your house, worst fucking thing ever. I hate Ikea. Love and hate Ikea. I'm a big fan of furniture showing up in one piece. Oh, I'm a huge guy. When it <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge furniture guy. I'm a huge guy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's listening. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a huge yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, a lot of girls fuck. out there just popped to that. That was funny. Um, you have IKEA shit in here. Do I? Yeah. Our desk. Both, oh yeah, both our, IKEA. our desk is IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I put it together backwards and had to undo it and then put it together again? I've done that with literally eight out of ten IKEA things I've ever built in my life. Oh, eight out of ten times, something will be backwards that will be detrimental to the entire thing. Yeah. And I'm like, well, fuck this. And we looked for that. Remember we thought we lost a screw, but I put it in the wrong, the wrong place. <laughs> like, yeah, we lost it. For an hour we were looking for this fucking screw. Not only that, but you would think that... Put a put a mini drill in this thing. Yeah. Don't give me this Allen key. You want I mean, me to put together all this shit with an Allen key? I think I have like eleven Allen keys. I have eleven thousand Allen <laughs> keys. There's a whole drawer full of them over there. Never need them. No. Because you want to know why? Every time you buy something, they give you a new one. Not only that, the the instructions. Yeah, you, know, you can always tell how bad it's gonna be by the thickness of the the, the instructions oh, on yeah. the Allen key thing. I I take it out of the box and I'm like. Yeah. I always flip to the last to see how many steps there are. I'm like, 36 fucking steps. I'm going to be here until tomorrow. I'm like, this is A. This said fucking A. 
Why is it not fitting? <laughs> and and the- then you're like, oh, it's fucking B. And then you realize that you don't have the fucking plastic fake screws that they give you. You got to hammer those The anchors. In. Hate those. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Anchors? Anchors. Hate those. Yeah, and fucking... You and know, Allen key hurts your fucking hands oh, when you're twisting oh, that thing. My, my hands are very dainty. I yeah. can't handle that. No. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle that. I can't handle that. It's no. too hard on my hands. And in the instructions, they have little pictures of these men that are smiling the whole time. Or the worst is when you open it up and they're like, oh, you might need a buddy for this. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to need a whole fucking village to I put know. this desk together. I love how it's one guy and they X him out. So he's X'd out, and then it's like two friends, like. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're going to have a great time. But Croatians getting getting their fuck on. I and, think it's Swede, Swedes. Oh, I thought you said Croatians. I said Europeans, but I think Ikea is Swedish. Yeah, so that makes sense. Well, I don't know why you said, I thought you said Croatians. <laughs> I don't know either. I didn't come close to saying Croatia. Uh, We're going to It's illegible. It's illegible, ineligible receiver downfield. Um, all right, this this is the last one I have. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, if you dig through the earth, and like through the entire earth, and you jump into the hole, which I don't I don't know why you would even dream of doing such things, and you jump into the hole, you'll fly out the other end. In how long? How long will it take you? One second. That was literally the dumbest answer to that question. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm reading here. You drill the earth. All right. You drill a hole through the whole thing. The whole earth. Where are you going? Look at No, over here. Hey. <laughs> Come here. We're over here. Over here. I need something spherical. No, no, no. You don't. Look, the earth. You drill a hole through it, right? All right. D- Danny, what are you doing? I need to see it. I need to, it, I need to visualize Here's it. Here's your earth. Okay, I'm looking at it. You drill a hole through the whole thing. Okay. And then you get on top and you jump through the hole. So you go oh, through the to hole. jump to the middle. Yes. I thought you were talking about jumping through the rest of the world. <laughs> like you drilled through the entire earth. Yes. And then you jumped from the top of the earth through the bottom of the earth. Yes, because you drilled that hole. You jump into the hole. Right. But is it to the middle of the earth or is it through the entire through earth? Through the earth. And even but, if it was halfway, one second is still a ridiculous <laughs> answer. Of course. But I'm saying, are we going... Through the whole earth. Here or here? No, through the earth. Okay. The other half of the earth. Uh, three days. <laughs> <laughs> These are terrible guesses, dude. Dude, I'm jumping through the entire earth. Three days? I don't know. It's you space. Could fl- like, you could fly around the earth like quicker than that. All right, let's see. Wait, that would make sense. But yeah. no, it's not three days. It's not even close. Can you give me a, like another answer? Five hours. It's warmer. It's 42 minutes and 12 seconds. All right. Imagine falling for 40 minutes. Well, you would die. Well, yeah. So you wouldn't Wait, even... Wait, would you? Yes. Why? Because the middle of the earth is hot as shit. I mean, take that away. If you just fall through a, a hole that large, do you die on the way down? Yes. Can you breathe? No. No. Actually, wait. Yes, you would die. Wait, people skydive. Yeah, but it doesn't take 42 minutes. Yeah, but can they can breathe. Yeah. It's not but 42 how? minutes. But what's the difference? One, it's not 42 minutes. Yeah. Two, the pressure probably just from jumping through the earth alone would shatter your lungs. I don't know. All I know is imagine screaming for that long. You literally would have time to like make a couple phone calls. Couple. S- send an email. <laughs> I haven't done two. <laughs> Four, 42 minutes. Because think about how long you... Ah! After a while, you're like, this isn't... I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm done with this. You can't yell 42 minutes. If I were to survive a 42-minute fall... And then what happens when you get at the other end? You just... You're going to space. Just kind of float around? Oh, and then you would also burn up then because you would leave Earth's atmosphere. That's true. You'd burn up. That's what I'm saying. You probably travel so fast you'd turn to dust. By the way, did you say one second because you think the Earth is flat? No. So no. you could just jump. Whoop, you're on the other side. People who think the Earth is flat, you think I'm stupid. <laughs> Print that. Print that. Print that. One second because the Earth is flat. You heard it here, folks. Danny Lopriori. Take that for data. Take that for data. Data or data? Data. Data, data, data. I like don't know. Like collecting all the data. 
Yeah. It, I, I, data like makes me feel like I'm going out of my way to say it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Lopriori on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you guys can follow me uh, <laughs> on Instagram at Joe Sanagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard and our Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. If you want to support the show, definitely go check that out. Patreon is spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash The Basement Yard, and that is all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>